y'all welcome back to my channel my name is kayla cake and today we are doing another weekly vlog it's monday right yes it's monday i had to make sure because listen the days have been matching together okay <laughs> they've been matching together but um yeah weekly vlog let's do it it's monday i'm gonna start off by showing y'all what i just got in the mail because i just got some some goodies in the mail okay oh <laughs> I know, I'm so predictable, it's disgusting. But um, I did pick up the all-in-one collection from Skims. I didn't pick up all that I wanted to because I set an alarm. I think I just put it in my um, calendar for like all day, like the thing launches today, like this collection launches today. I woke up early. I was like, okay, it don't launch till 12. Was busy that day. So then at like three o'clock, I'm like, oh shoot. The collection launched today, so I go on there. Why do I look blue? Anyways, the collection launched. I go on there, and everything is gone. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I just grabbed what I could. Um, but once they restock or whatever, I'm going all in because I really love, I love Skims, number one. But I've just been needing some good, solid body suits I could wear with anything, any time of the day, running errands, going out, like, you know also i do have my stripped official body suits which are black owned by the way i will link them down below um but kim has slightly different silhouettes we're gonna see if these are as good as my strip ones because them strip ones y'all are so good so this is the first one i got this little one with shorts it's long sleeve and it has like a mock neck it feels like good material so we're gonna see how it fits i'm gonna try it on in a collective haul probably because i did get a couple things recently um but it seems like good oh it has a little thing on it okay i got this in a size medium so i'm hoping i'm praying that the booty allows me to zip this up in the thighs because oh my gosh my thighs they be like girl i don't know what you thought was going on here but you are not fitting into this so we're gonna see we're gonna see we're gonna see but yeah this one looks like it's just black i plan on getting all black bodysuits i really didn't care for any of the other colors to be honest but since they didn't have the black like when i tell y'all the girls ate the black up like it was none left so i ended up getting this one in a brown color So this one is also long sleeve. All of my strip bodysuits are sleeveless, so I wanted to get some long sleeve ones. This one is a brown one, and it's long sleeve, scoop neck. I wish it wasn't scoop neck, because I don't really like scoop neck, but it's okay. Um, and then it's just full leg all the way down. And I also got this in a medium. I'll be signing up for the restock notifications, but sometimes I feel like she won't be notifying. Okay, y'all, I decided to try this bodysuit on. Let me back up for y'all. This is the one that is, girl, focus, hello. There we go. This is the one that's like shorts. One, it is kind of squeezing right here, but you know, thick thighs save lives, okay? So I'm trying to zip it up. And I'm like, does it have a back gap? Because it kind of does. Like girl, my strip bodysuits do not do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't do that. But I can't even get it up myself. I would have to have somebody else do it for me. But the medium fits good, though. I mean, it ain't zipped up. But, you know, it seems like this is my right size. That's the only thing about these daggone back zippers. Like, how are we supposed to... How are we supposed to get these oil, y'all? I really like the quality. The quality is like really good. I do feel like I don't have a bra on either, and I feel like it's pushing my uh my boobs like in. If I got the large, I feel like it'll definitely be a gap in the back. But I feel like the gap isn't terrible. I just feel like once I get it on, I would have to like okay, yeah. Once I actually get it on and like zipped up and stuff, I would have to adjust it a little bit i literally cannot do this how do y'all do this but no it's giving i like it okay mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh i got it i got it a little bit more oh my god that hurt i feel like i just broke my wrist <laughs> i can't get it 
Hey y'all, it's Tuesday. She looking crusty still. That like weird moment between Christmas and New Year's where you just don't know what life is. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Uh, my sister was supposed to come over yesterday. She did not come over because Omarion is outside, baby. Okay, we gotta be careful. I really do need to wash my hair. Like, it looks crazy. I put it in this raggedy braid. Y'all, I'm just looking real crusty and it's okay. It's okay. Cause can't nobody see, well, I just put myself out there on freaking YouTube talking about some can't nobody see me, but it is what it is, you know? We all have those very busted looking moments and it is okay. We are allowed to look busted sometimes. I'm about to go to CB2. So I need to pick up my laundry. If I, my laundry, my laundry basket. It finally came in, y'all, like after months. I ordered that thing before black friday yeah before black friday because on black friday i found that it was actually on sale and i didn't know if they did price adjustments or not but it was whatever it wasn't really even that good of a sale so i was just like leave it and there we go just in a bun real simple nothing crazy so yeah let's go to cb2 i kind of want to shop now that I'm going to be over there, but I'm not sure what I want. Y'all had to come back because I almost forgot my AirPods. Okay, your girl got AirPods now. I'm so excited. We secured the bag, y'all. Well, the package. Um, I went in there actually to look for some candles to go into my... Um, my candle holders that I actually bought from them for Christmas decor. But of course, I didn't have them. So, yeah, it said they had them, but like he couldn't find them and he found one and it was like kind of beat up a little bit. So I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm good. Even though I really could have bought that because I'm gonna burn it anyways. I didn't think about that. <laughs> but yeah, he just um ordered them and shipped them to me and I'll probably go to somewhere else to get some for the time being maybe. Let's get up out of here before the free validated parking is over. Okay, do you hear me? I went up in there and was like, look, show me this real quick, let's go. <laughs> uh, not trying to pay for parking up in DC because y'all, it is so expensive for no reason, like no reason. So I'm at Target now and they have the same size. It looks the exact same. And these are only seven dollars so i'm gonna get these i still may keep this tv2 ones because i actually do want to burn you know the candles so i'm gonna need more after i finish burning so i might just still keep them but i was like why don't i just go to target and also while i'm here i need some oils for my diffuser anyway so i need to pick out some oils y'all know i love project 62 and they have their own line of essential oils So I'm trying to see which one I want to pick. Like, do I want clove and cinnamon tea tree? I love the vibe of relaxation. So I might grab this. This one sounds like me, my vibe, relax. We're back, got my candles. Let me put them on my candle stand, okay? It's been a while and they've just been sitting here looking real lonely, so let me go ahead and put them boom and boom and i'm gonna put the wick up and i'll probably burn them tonight so i'll show y'all what it looks like tonight child they've been sitting there uncandled for the longest time and it looks good from afar i'm not mad at it so i'm about to open my laundry hamper finally <laughs> Two things that's just long overdue, putting candles on the candle holder and getting this daggone laundry hamper. Ouch. And boom, here she is. Let me get up close so I can see the texture. It's kind of like a, I don't even really want to say snake print because it's really not. It's like a, I don't know, but it has like this texture. It's giving lizard. <laughs> yeah, this is the hamper, it opens like this. I love that it has a top. I've been looking for one with a top on it so I can close it so you can't see 
the dirty clothes and also something that just looks nice and sleek in my closet so that you know it just doesn't look like laundry you know what i'm saying like you feel me i had this vision in my head of what i wanted my laundry hair to look like and i was on amazon i was on bed bath and beyond i was on every website and then this one showed up in my google search i was like oh my god that's exactly what i want exactly what i want and then i saw the price and i was like oh jesus <laughs> and then i was like you know what just do it just do it like just it is what it is so i ordered it took forever to get here you know i told the story in i think a past vlog or something like that but long story short it just took forever to get here and now i finally have it so i'm happy so yeah i'm about to transfer all of my stuff into here all of my dirty clothes well i actually need to finish doing laundry so i'll probably do that instead so this is how it looks right now <laughs> sweatpants overflowing out of the top like it's ridiculous because it's just too much and it's also just too small like i've had this since college y'all literally since college okay and that was like a million years ago so yeah she needs to be switched out this just does it just doesn't match the vibe you know like oh yes no you know now look at the difference it's just hidden it looks so much more sleek it looks it just looks like that you know what i'm saying it just looks so much better and i finally got all of my um shoe shell like y'all this what i'm talking about okay i really wanted this for my organizational video because i just felt like my closet would look so much better but it just y'all this is it my overpriced laundry hamper but i'm satisfied like i'm not even mad at it for real i kind of feel like i did the damn thing i need to eat something first but i'm about to finish my laundry because i was in the middle of laundry yesterday and i never finished it so i need to, i got a whole load to wash i have clothes put away i got stuff in the wash machine that i need to put in the dryer i have clothes to give away i'm just drowning in clothes right now <laughs> like whew, i need to wash my sheets i need to do so many things so many things so yeah i need to eat first because if i don't eat ain't nothing happening ain't nothing getting done y'all hey it is the next day i did not gather those clothes like i was supposed to i literally i don't even know what i did yesterday i know i like chilled yesterday but i think maybe i got back what did i do yesterday i also got this card from one of the companies that i work with and they kind of connect me with um Certain brands that I've been working with, like they've connected me with HelloFresh and who else? Case Defy. I think it was Case Defy. I'm pretty sure. They're kind of like a like a marketing firm, kind of almost similar to um, Magic Links. So yeah, they have been so sweet to me, like literally so sweet to me this holiday season. Part of it says, so here's to the climb we've taken in 2021, a nice view of the mountain range as we rest over the holidays and the excitement around the peaks that we can climb together in 2022. Happy holidays. That is so sweet. <laughs> no, I really do love them. Like, honestly, amazing, amazing, amazing. Like, I told y'all I just love nice people. And I love working with nice brands too that actually just care about you. Because some brands will work with you and just be like, okay and then they'll send your payment all late like it's just a mess i'm still waiting on a payment from a brand and i work with them like i want to say let me tell you the exact time because it's been over like three months there's just so much to it you know what i mean so much to it but i wouldn't trade it honestly i love what i do okay i literally love it um oh it was three months ago yep trace months ago and they still ain't paid you, girl. Ciao. Anyways. Also, oh my God. I got another package. I told you, I literally was about to say peace out and just probably eat something and chill. But y'all, I got another package and I feel like I know what it is. This is one of the items that was supposed to be in my collector haul. And it did not make it here in time. Ah! It did not make it here in time. I'm so excited. Um, oh, okay. First of all, you guys know I featured two pair of shoes in my collective haul. If you watched it, if you haven't, go watch that. But um, two pair of shoes that just didn't make it to the collective haul because they were running late. One of them is not coming. Why? Because they canceled my order. 
I was like, I really wanted those. I really, 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 really wanted those. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Because at least I got one. So, yeah. Here is. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I'm so excited for these. I've never had a pair of these before. I've only had. I don't even remember what mine are called, to be honest. I just know they're comfortable and I love them. And that's that. But let me move this out the way let me move this out the way okay we're gonna unbox them together and get my reaction okay here's what it looks like i got all this stuff in the camera y'all i'm sorry oh my god okay them <laughs> i literally love them okay y'all oh my god they're beautiful ah, look at that y'all how pretty how gorgeous oh my god i'm obsessed i'm so obsessed wow so yeah i've never had a pair of the 350s these were like the original one that came out when he first launched right i'm pretty sure but um yeah i've been hearing so many things about how comfortable these are i see people work out in them i see people run walk like do everything in these and i was like well i feel like i need a pair so when these this colorway first came out i wanted them but i'm gonna say it girl back then i couldn't afford them okay period like i couldn't afford it who cares and yeah so when they re-release and i feel like this is kind of a little bit of an updated version um i was like oh yeah baby bring them home to mama okay so i ordered them off of goat and yeah i really enjoy them so one thing about goat i will say if you want your shoes really quick then you will have to pay more to get them like super super quick but honestly i never pay the what is it called i think it's the instant price i just be like okay cool like i'll just do the the cheaper option which is like when someone has them they ship them to the goat facility they verify them make sure they're real all that type of stuff then they ship it to you and that usually takes i want it not even that long it's not even that much longer than the instant which i'm like okay i'm paying 100 no you be really paying like 100 200 more dollars to get them in a couple days when you could just wait a week and still get the same shoe bad cheap price like i don't get it but well i do get it but so yeah, the instant is when they already have them at the GOAT facility. They've already verified them. They're just sitting there waiting to be purchased. So yeah, I was just like, you know what? It's whatever. Like I'll just, it's okay. I can wait a little bit and get them for, I think these was like $130 cheaper than the instant price. So I was like, yeah, we're saving that. So yeah, that's a key for when ordering on GOAT um definitely just do the the lowest price available because you'll get them in a nice decent amount of time it's not going to take forever and yeah like you save money so got these love them i need to try them on and make sure they fit and everything but they look like they fit this is what this definitely looks like my foot but i just love the orange little um paint stripe on it and it's just amazing like look at the close-up of the fabric it's kind of like gray and orange mixed together. Hey y'all, it is Thursday. I'm about to just look real crusty this whole vlog because there's just no reason for me to get cute, honestly. Like I'm not getting any content during this time. It's pretty much like, like I said, the time before Christmas and New Year's where you just don't know what the fuck is going on. Like you just don't know. And you just trying to like rest, like recover from the crazy year, just trying to get your life together. So yes child i am in the midst of doing laundry i was going to get the clothes and stuff together like a few days ago but i wanted to finish all my laundry first so that i knew exactly what i was going to give away and nothing was left behind like everything i want to give away out of here you know my bed is filled with clothes because i just did laundry i need to fold everything it's still some stuff in the dryer so i'm gonna bring it in here and put it on the bed so i have tons of stuff to give away i'm starting to put the bags and stuff right here the ones that i already have together these are some jeans that just did not fit 
into one of the bags and then also these shirts right here so i need to create another bag i have so much stuff to give away it's ridiculous but at least it's going to someone who actually needs it and not just sitting in my closet because that is not that's very wasteful why would i put this right here y'all makes no sense but i have this which is a lot of like tops pretty much all tops dresses and like some sets and i think there's some tops in here too Whew. more dresses and i think this is really all dresses so yeah and we also are giving away shoes too so i got a lot of like shoes not a lot of heels i kind of declared my heels a while ago so here's all the clothes that i'm giving away crazy 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 it's so much so i'm about to start putting them in the bags and just keeping the show on the road honestly like let's just keep it going Put me on no time, I ain't late. Uh, stay right up on my name, bait, bait. Sit back and roll all way. Hey, smoking that shit to the face. Hey, I call it cool, different race. As a shit on the car, hit the gate. Ain't seeing no slime of the day. Uh, drop a few cups on the day. Strip back in the main way. Starting off in the best lane. Smoke all back to the brain. we are at the donation center i am in line because there's tons of people donating um but yeah i just like donating here because i always just see so many different people coming in and out of here and i don't know i just always like to donate to this specific one oh that's so sweet she's giving her that stroller that's what i'm saying so many people um like moms and kids and stuff go in this specific donation center so that's why i always like to donate here because I just see the people that come in and out of here every time I am here donating stuff. Now I'm about to go to Starbucks. Y'all, this is the shortest Starbucks drive through line I've seen in my life. I kind of want to try something new, like one of their seasonal things, but I also just want to get my medicine ball and keep it moving. I love the medicine ball. Like, I don't even have to be sick and I'll drink the medicine ball. Like, I love it. I don't know what it is, but I just love, 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 love it. And I probably won't get no food because I have food at home. Ooh, a snowman cookie. I don't need no daggone cookie. Oh my God, relax, girl. Uh, like I was saying, this lady was like walking up to the, like where people donate stuff at, like the like the side of the building. And um, she needed like baby stuff. So they was giving her some baby stuff. And this guy that was donating some other baby stuff, coincidentally, he was like, oh, well, you can have everything that I'm about to donate. And I was just like, my heart, like I love it. So yeah, if I had baby stuff, I would've gave it to her, but I didn't have any baby stuff because I don't really know any babies. But I just thought that was like the sweetest little thing, so. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, can I do a, um, a vent, I'm sorry, a grande medicine ball? So first, you don't have the honey blend to make it right now. I'm sorry? We don't have the honey blend that makes it? We don't have the syrup? Uh, you can leave the syrup out. Is that possible? All right. And anything else? Um, that's it. 366. Thank you. Thank you. girl you wait give me that dang on medicine ball i don't care if it's sweet or not i can just put um i can just put the honey in it when i get home hey y'all so the rest of today just did not go as planned like at all at all at all, at all. i had to go hurry up and go get tested real quick because so many people in my family are starting to test positive and i was around them for christmas so i was like i need to find somewhere today to go get tested because i was just around my grandfather literally yesterday was that yesterday 
I'm pretty sure it was yesterday. So yeah, I was like, oh, I need to go get tested ASAP. He's still, he's about to get tested. Um, what time is it? Yeah, he's about to go, he's about to get tested too. <clears throat> so we need to make sure he's good. He said he feels fine. He said he don't really feel nothing. So we're just gonna pray. And yes, yeah, so I had to run, hurry up. I had a plug to get a test super quick. So thank God. Thank you, God. And your girl is negative again. Thank you. <laughs> like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I was around all these people for Christmas. So I was just super worried and just, I'm a very paranoid person sometimes when it comes to stuff like that. Like, I need to, I wasn't feeling any type of way. You know what I'm saying? But I need to see the word negative on some type of healthcare website you know what i'm saying or like from a trusted professional like i need to see the word negative i need to hear the word negative from somebody professional but yeah i ordered thai food right before i left and then i decided to go get tested on a whim so yeah i just finished heating up um this is the drunken noodles with shrimp this is some veggie spring rolls and then i also got some a uh, wonton soup so yeah that is how my night went super unexpected but i honestly don't have plans to really leave the house like i've been wanting to self-quarantine any like that's what i do for a living anyways but i've been wanting to self-quarantine just because um certain people rude but yeah certain people around me have been testing positive so i'm like nah it's hitting too close to home let me just go ahead and self-quarantine and I was gonna do that anyway, so now I have a real excuse because I can't go see my family. Like, everybody is pretty much positive except for a couple people. Omarion's out here, okay? He's on tour. He is break dancing all over the place, y'all. And I'm scared, okay? So I'm gonna be in the house for New Year's. No plans, no nothing. I already picked out my sweatpants. Yeah, please be responsible. I don't know if this is gonna go up before or after New Year's. I'm pretty sure, what, what's the day? I know it's gonna go up after New Year's, but hopefully you were responsible on New Year's and just stay responsible into the New Year as well because this is real, okay? This is this is nothing to play with. So hopefully y'all are being safe. No champagne flute, no company. We're just spinning it alone, but I'm so grateful. So cheers to all you guys. Hey y'all, it is January 4th. <laughs> I honestly have not even touched my camera. Well, I did, I filmed um, something, but my face wasn't in it. Um, it's for a video that you guys probably have seen already. If not, it's coming up after this video. I needed a break. I also took my lashes off. That's why I look real naked. Um, I'm doing my hair right now. My hair is a mess. Like, my hair is so dirty. I need to wash it. I have had my hair straight. It's not even straight no more. Like, child. I've had it straight for, like, almost a month now. Because my appointment was on December 8th. And it is January 4th. So, it's just been like this. I've been doing, like, straight hairstyles and, like, all that type of stuff but i just have not had the energy to wash it i'm going to do my makeup and get dressed and all that good stuff and then i will pick up the camera once i am finished okay y'all we are here i didn't show y'all what i got on but i'm gonna have a uh, tia show y'all for me so let's get out of the car first of all it's snowy it's heck out here can i just walk that way and no, i'm gonna keep walking in the street i'm not even gonna try it because look you can't even get to the sidewalk from the street one thing a, a person is going to do in dc is try to holla at you every single time the bus driver just beeped at us the security guard standing there staring at us like yeah. what's going on <laughs> people won't stay Yeah. <laughs> 
y'all. Look at her That's what you need. Instead of trying to prop it up one thing, going, yeah, it's good. And one thing I'm gonna do is prop this camera up, okay? That is so cute. Bruh, look at Ooh. this. Oh, oh, hold on. Do this what you gotta do. Oh, see, look at that. It moves. Thank you. Okay. I like that one better. The food is here. Yummy. What'd you get? 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 See the salad. Yes, and I got Caesar salad and I added avocado and salmon. Drink almost gone, too. <laughs> that salmon is so good. It's good. It's good. Yes. Oh my god. Dang. Yeah. That That's what they was back there doing, putting their foot in it. <laughs> hey y'all, it's been a minute. So I haven't picked up the camera in like a week or so. It's been child it's been a lot going on um some stuff i want to like you know talk about chat about i did my hair hair is curly i've been wearing it curly for the past few days now um i oh i did film me going from straight to curly so you guys will see like my whole process products all that good stuff i got my nails done i got my lashes done okay i just did pretty much like a whole like this last week I've been like pampering myself, trying to make myself feel better and like all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, let's just hop right into it. I need some water. Oh my God, hold on. Woo, okay. Woo, I needed that. All right, so let's get into where your girl been because I feel like I always gotta come on here and tell y'all where I been because I'm always going missing. Like, girl, I need to get together, but um yeah so more of the story seasonal depression has been kicking my behind that is, it is what it is people have you know speculated a few things but no i literally just have not been in my right mental state lately it's been a struggle um and i struggle with that honestly almost every year so yeah when you guys have seen me like post and then don't post and go missing and then you know post start posting again and go missing again all those days were my good days for these past few months at least like all those days were some of my good days where i had the motivation and i did feel like um and i actually felt like posting and like all that type of stuff so yeah and then the days that i went missing was just the days that i wasn't feeling my best and the days that weren't as good you know so I've been kind of going through it for the past couple months, um, just trying to just trying to get it together. Like it's hard. It's a process, and you know it takes time. But I'm working on it, and I'm trying to you know do things intentionally that make me feel better, so that I can you know come back to y'all. My hair is just whew, it's touching me. Um, just try to intentionally do things to you know make me feel better and stuff like that um there are some things that have been going on like personally in my personal life that i am not comfortable sharing right now and hopefully you guys understand well i appreciate the people that do understand because some people <laughs> okay listen we'll talk about it um but yeah i'm not comfortable sharing that right now but i have been just going through so much also in my personal life which has also kept me away from youtube for a little minute as well just kind of been like a lot of situations happening it's been a lot happening within the last few months and it's all kind of piling up and you know bothering me and kind of breaking me down a little bit things that are specifically happening to me things happening around me so yeah it's been situations like that which have knocked me kind of off my game a little bit and you know i'm I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm not 100% right now. You know what I'm saying? And I haven't been for months. I haven't felt like myself in months. And, you know, the most I can do is acknowledge that, you know, a big part of that is acknowledging that. And then also just intentionally working towards feeling better and finding motivation and get things done and just really putting in effort to try at least you know what I'm saying and also be grateful for the small wins oh my gosh that's been really helping me too like I'll wake up and be like I woke up today that's a win okay period like that's a win and 
I woke up and I made breakfast. Like I had the motivation to make breakfast. Like that's a win, you know? You gotta celebrate the small wins cause all those small wins add up and then you just start to feel better and better and better. So that's something that um, has been trying to help, has been kind of helping me get through this whole entire thing as well as just taking my time and being easy on myself too. Not forcing myself to try to find motivation, not forcing myself to be productive. Um, of course, still getting things done, but just not forcing what clearly is just not it at the time, you know, because once you like try to force yourself to be motivated or force yourself to do stuff that you really just don't have the mental, the mental energy to do, you're going to get frustrated and it's just going to go downhill from there. Like, it's just not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, I've just been really trying to work through it and like, you know, just one day at a time you know um but i did want to share that because well at first i didn't want to because i was like eh. but i kind of have been kind of feeling a little alone during this whole you know process of getting through seasonal depression and stuff like that there's also been like other little stuff that i kind of don't even want to entertain and i was getting also a lot of hate on the internet if you know me you know i'd be like f everything like i'm a tourist so we just don't care really about nothing but um well we do care about a lot of things like a lot of things that are important to us but if it's just outside noise we don't care like it's we pay it complete dust so um you know but this time around you know a lot of the stuff was bothering me because you know i wasn't 100 percent. i wasn't at my best i wasn't on point you know what i'm saying um and i don't even i don't even want to touch on this stuff because i don't even want to entertain the daggone foolishness but um it was just a lot of like you know a lot of false narratives, a lot of just people. I was always trying to find something, very much something to talk about. Like, Carisha was so right. That's all they do is try to take something, blow it out of proportion because they bored. Probably ain't even send it from a Wi-Fi that they pay for. You know what I'm saying? Like, probably send it for your mama Wi-Fi sitting on your mama couch or in your mama basement. Like, come on now let's be honest but um i would say i'm joking but i'm not like people literally be like in a mama house bored and don't got nothing else better to do but just like sit on the couch and send hateful things to people and you know just to make themselves feel better i don't i don't get it that's not a sport that i enjoy but people do it and um you know i have been receiving more than usual lately and it's it's it bothered me you know what i'm saying like i said i wasn't at my best and it bothered me um so i've been trying to really just remind myself like who i am like you're not this person that these people are trying to say you are like those are not your intentions people trying to make my intentions seem something that they aren't people trying to make you know my personality seem something that it isn't people try to take a story and twist it people try to take an interaction they see and twist it um People try to, like I said, they always trying to find something, very much something. And it be nothing, very much nothing. For example, let me uh, let me give y'all a little example. Uh, recently I had posted a picture, excuse me, backstory. So my entire family caught COVID, right? <sighs> well, a little more backstory. One of my friends had caught COVID. And I was just around her and I went to go get tested, tested negative. Thank you. God kept me covered throughout this whole situation. Let me tell you something. That is a God, period. Um, so tested negative. Then I was around my entire family for Christmas. All of them caught it. Guess who tested negative? Me. And actually one other family member also tested negative. But everybody else was positive. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm about to just sit in the house. Well, Thank God for that. Thank God that I am negative. Thank God that my family has made it through those times because everyone is starting to, you know, finally come out of quarantine and start to test negative again and everything. So shout out to God. Um, but that pretty much put me in house because I was scared <laughs> and I just decided to self quarantine pretty much. So I was like, I'm not going to wear that thing that came way too close to me. Okay. Just scared the living daylights out of me. I'm staying in the house. So yeah, I pretty much was like self-quarantining and then I had planned a lunch with my girls 
and we was just gonna take a take pictures before get some content before and then go to lunch so i'm pressed you know what i'm saying because i was stuck in the house by choice because i was trying to be safe but i was pressed to go out and also we was going to a place where i was really hyped because i really wanted this salad <laughs> um so i got dressed i had just got this new coat mind you i'm in the house shopping because i got nothing else better to do and i love shopping um i just got this new coat okay i was pressed i was like i wear my new coat okay period and it was freezing too so i'm definitely wearing my new coat grab my new bag because y'all know i just got myself a new bag for christmas it was real hype and all that type of stuff so i was like i'm gonna grab my new bag and it's lit and then also i'm gonna wear my prada boots because i'm not trying to slip and bust my behind because it just snowed it was icy outside so i'm like let me wear those just so i'm safe and also it look cute with the outfit posted the picture y'all right I love the picture. It was real cute. I was really pressed. Okay. Like Panini, Spacebar, all that. And I started getting these messages like, oh, you're, you're, you stole this look from such and such. I don't even want to say the name. Like I said, I'm not about to entertain the bullshit. And you, um, you always trying to be like such and such. You always copy such and such. Da, 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 da. And I was just like, what the heck are people talking about? I was so confused. So I go to her page. Mind you, I follow her because she bomb shit. Like she's bomb. Okay, period. I love her. Go to her page and I'm looking because I'm like, I don't see nothing. So I see a picture. And I'm like, this got to be the one they talking about because our outfit color scheme was the same. We was wearing the same shoes. And I seen that post before because it was bomb. Like, hello. I liked it and everything. Her outfit was cute as shit. So I, um, we had on the same shoes, the outfit, we both had on like brown and black. And then I also noticed the second time around that we had the same bag. Um, hers is a little different, but pretty much it was like almost the same bag. So I'm like, this gotta be what people are talking about. So I'm just like, like I said, people gonna make something out of nothing something out of nothing every single time they're gonna do it every time but it just sucked because usually I don't let you know outside noise and the foolishness bother me but this time around it bothered me I'm not gonna lie like it really did to be accused of something that you didn't do you know what I'm saying in no way was I trying to copy anybody I never have to copy nobody I'm one fly ass bitch by myself you know what I'm saying like I do not have to copy anybody or nothing like that her outfit was bomb as shit yes but you know it is what it is it was kind of like this situation which is why i'm kind of speaking on it was kind of like a wake-up call because it's just like girl no you didn't just let this outside noise literally make you debate on taking your photo down you love that picture you love that coat you were pressed to wear that coat and you let these outside noise folks really get to you and I was like, wow, I need to tighten up. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was my wake up call to be like, girl, you really going through it and you need to just be, be more intentional about making yourself feel better. Do things that make yourself feel better because you are losing it, sis, okay? <laughs> um, and I just hate that people also always try to pit influencers against each other. Like, this has been happening so much recently. Oh my gosh. I mean, I've seen people say this about so many other people. Like, one of my girls that I follow, I really love her content and everything. She was saying that people always be trying to compare her to somebody else. Always try to pit her against this other um, influencer because of, like, her style and stuff like that. And it's, it's like why can't we both just be amazing why can't we both just be great why can't we both just be fly as fuck you know what i'm saying and also why can't it just be a daggone coincidence it's just <laughs> i don't know this whole situation is so well that whole situation was crazy um there's another situation too where i had like purchased this outfit that this other bigger influencer had also purchased and then i started getting accused of copying her and it's just like, bro, what? Maybe we just have the same taste. And I also told, and I also said in the video, like, um, 
who inspired me to uh purchase that well who i saw the outfit on first but you know people gonna ignore that and they're gonna take what they want to take and then make a whole thing about it you know sometimes i do sit down and i'd be like dang i wish these people could really get to know me and i've said this to actually one of my friends that i was having a deeper conversation with and i was like i really wish like these people could sit down and just get to know me and like hang out with me for like a day or two or a week or whatever because they would never say that you know but that also is just like these people don't know you sis these people don't know you maybe they just don't want to see you win maybe they're just miserable maybe they don't want to see anybody win and you just happen to get thrown in the pot you know maybe it's not really directed towards you maybe it's just you know like misplaced feelings about themselves and they trying to you know throw it on somebody else or whatever like it could be so many different things so <clears throat> excuse me um you know i've i've kind of vented a little bit to some friends and i've had some talks and stuff like that and that definitely has made me feel better about it but it definitely does suck when you're like in a line of fire of a bunch of like false crazy stuff like people hitting me from fake pages and throwing subs and throwing shade and like just getting smart popping off doing whatever child i don't block so many people <laughs> i didn't like remove so many comments and like all this and stuff just really trying to protect my peace because it's it's honestly you know it got to me a little bit because i was just not at my best at the moment and it definitely it definitely got to me but now that i'm doing a lot better i've definitely one just been focusing more on all the love and stuff that people have been showing like that's really the most important uh part of this like the love that everyone shows i really appreciate everybody like from the bottom of my heart like it has just been amazing and i really sat down and was like well, one these little fools the people typing the foolishness are fools you know what i'm saying they don't know anything about you like they don't know like they're just doing what they're gonna do what they're gonna do either way it goes you know what i'm saying that just shows their character and who they are as a person to hop online and say this about xyz and gossip and you know do the rumor mill stuff and like all of that like that just shows who they are i'm gonna just continue to evolve into a better version of myself every single day and whoever hates it it's gonna hate it i can't do nothing about it I don't even have time to try to prove them, you know, prove myself to these outsiders because they don't deserve that. The people that deserve that are the people that show me love consistency, consistently, sorry, the people that support me consistently and things like that. And that's ultimately like that whole thought process. I kind of just sat down and was thinking. And also, like I said, I was venting to one of my friends and we had a really, really good conversation. And she put a lot of things into perspective for me. And ultimately, I started to feel so much better about the situation, about getting all this hate and stuff like that. It's just like, yeah, it came out of left field. And yeah, I wasn't feeling my best. So it did affect me when it usually doesn't. But you know what? <laughs> Fuck it, we ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just got to keep it moving. <laughs> we just got to keep it pushing and keep going towards our goals and just keep just keep progressing keep striving towards greatness and keep evolving and you know that's all you can do they're gonna hate either way babe <laughs> they're gonna hate either way but i did kind of i did really want to address some of that stuff though because uh, i know there's a lot of power in not saying anything but there's also a lot of power in saying something too because i feel like it's kind of made me feel better to just you know talk about it and express how i felt in the moment it's been a little crazy and it's just been a lot going on and a lot mentally as well um also another thing i guess i wanted to talk about was me sharing things this has been another thing that i've gotten a lot of hate on um like my lack of sharing things now 
can share this. I also met with a realtor. So that's like another, you know what I'm saying? Like all these really big things, all these really big accomplishments as well are also shaping this person that I'm coming into. And all these really big decisions are shaping this person that I am um, growing into. So it's just a lot going on. But I just want to come down and talk, sit down and talk to you guys um, about just everything like, Everything that's been going on, the good, the bad. Um, like I said, I did meet with a realtor and not really to look at houses just yet, but just really to get that knowledge because I recently decided that I do want to own a home. And I know that sounds crazy, but like I didn't really have a certain timeline on when I wanted to own a house. I also was very uneducated about owning a house as well. So now that I have a lot of information, it is something that I'm interested in doing pretty soon so sorry y'all my camera died but pretty much what i was saying is there's just so many things that so many goals that i have that i'm really trying to reach you know in the near future and they're like really really big goals like owning a house buying a car um starting a business i know a lot of people are asking about my business and what's going on with that and that takes time <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say is it's just, child it takes time but i have so many like just new ventures that i'm also going to be starting this year and i just really have to focus on that and i also wrote down some of my goals i had made a vision board like you guys will see the video but um just sitting down and really thinking about what exactly i want in life and putting that on my vision board and trying to manifest those things has also really helped me really really helped me get out of this whole i guess you know, it hasn't helped me out of my season of depression, but it has helped me move a little more uphill than, you know, it was going. Cause it was kind of steady. It was like, I don't feel like I'm really getting any better, but you know, a lot of reevaluation of life and manifesting things and just kind of um, also reflection on how far I've come has really helped as well. So yeah. It's a lot going on y'all. Um, I'm really excited. I don't know when I'm gonna be getting a house. So don't be like, girl, we need a house tour tomorrow. Like girl, I don't know. I just literally was asking questions and really trying to gain knowledge before I um, make any like big decisions or anything like that. So yeah, I just wanna say I appreciate you guys. Like I am so grateful to a lot of y'all because y'all hold it down. Okay, y'all hold it down. Y'all be sending me these like long, thoughtful, loving messages just randomly, not even knowing that I really need those words sometimes. You know, like y'all be sending them at the, it's like y'all know. I don't know how y'all be knowing, but y'all be knowing. Y'all be sending them at the right time. Like, oh my goodness. Every single last one, I be screenshotting them. I be saving them in my phone. Like, I love, 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 love nice people i love kind people and that's what y'all y'all are so beautiful like inside and out and i appreciate that i have this amazing audience that supports me every single moment of the day like anything that i do y'all support me and i freaking 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 love it okay so yeah um that's pretty much what's been going on um i am feeling a lot better now and um literally the other day i finally had the motivation i got up i did laundry i cleaned my whole place like everything was just amazing that day and i felt so good like so good and it was like wow i haven't felt this good in a long time and then every day after that i just felt even better you know so i do feel like um I can finally get up and really start focusing on these YouTube videos and getting content to you guys. But I just had to sit down and kind of release that. Um, I actually filmed this part like a million times that I just couldn't really get my words out. So yeah, I feel a lot better now that I've kind of let it off my chest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, happy new year, y'all. I don't feel like I said that on here. I definitely didn't actually because I haven't uploading in forever <laughs> but um yeah i just really do appreciate y'all for everything and all the love that you guys have sent me and like i said during that reflection of last year i was like y'all really be holding me down and i i love it i appreciate it like i'm forever grateful for all the love that everyone has given me has sent me i'm grateful for all of it okay all of it all of it all of it so yeah that's pretty much 
what's been going on that's pretty much all i wanted to talk to y'all about um i love y'all i really do and i will see you guys in my next video